When Lauren, Jamel, and daughter Ada first saw this 2,400 square foot home, it was love at first sight. I have an eight-year-old daughter, and she loves to be outside and climbing. I mean, that's one of the main things we wanted when we left downtown, and it's beautiful. I just fell in love with it. We bought with our hearts and not with our heads. This house just doesn't function well. This house just doesn't make sense. The more time we've spent in it, the more problems I've found. I'm happy here. I know it needs work. I know it's going to take time. I love it here. I want to stay. The drop zone is a mess, but I guess that's the point of the drop zone. My dream is that everything stops at the door. And so no shoes, no coats, no stamps, no laptops, no nothing. But it's also a workspace, so the printer, all of the business, everything stays in here. Does that everything include, dream. like, my laptop and notebooks that I would try to write in when I'm not in a cluttered space? I do stand-up comedy. I would love to have a space that's dedicated to writing. I am very easily distracted, and it's hard in general to motivate. And when I'm either surrounded by bills and spreadsheets I'm supposed to be working on, or in the middle of the kitchen where I want to be with um, you know, cooking and homework going on, I will find any excuse to not buckle down and do what I need to do. We have places to put a desk. It's just a matter of sitting down and shutting everything off and just writing. I think that the house has plenty of space for that. The kitchen is nonsense. It's laid out in a very strange way, and it feels broken up and cut off and non-functional. That's not a huge deal. The laundry is in the kitchen. It is nice to be able to do laundry while cooking. Are you honestly saying that you, like, fold a shirt and then, like, stir the sauce and then get I back to folding? I am literally at all times doing <laughs> five things. She's a liar. <laughs> I've never had an open space behind the oven. It's probably one of my favorite things that happens during the week is watching Lauren help Ada with homework while I'm trying to get dinner cooked. I love that part of it. Closet space is missing. I know that we don't have a proper closet in the bedroom. We haven't used to its fullest potential, for sure. <laughs> I think that is its fullest potential. <laughs> closet space has uh, consumed two entire bedrooms. Here is Lauren's uh, place, where she puts her clothes. And then I can have mine totally separate. Over here, I can get ready, and I don't have to trip over her piles, and that's wonderful. That's nice for you. Our bathroom makes no sense. The tub is very small. I just would like a tub that I could actually fit in. I feel like I'm just sitting in a puddle. It doesn't have to be this hard. I bought with my heart, and I stand by it. I think life is complicated and exhausting enough that I don't think we should spend months, maybe years, with our house in chaos. We could just move and be done. Ada and I are staying. Oh, gosh. You are staying. I want to go. All right. I've done an evaluation on your home. Current value is $331,000. OK. All right? You are going to be the one that is giving me the must-have list to get out of here. OK. So I need an open concept kitchen and living room. I would love to have four bedrooms, enough room for my family to come stay. I'd like two walk-in closets. How nice would it be to have a beautiful closet space to myself uh, that where everything is put away all of the time. All right, what else? I would need an office space for Lauren to write. She needs enough space, enough okay. quiet to be able to do it well. OK. I want a neighborhood with tall trees that's been around mm -hmm. <laughs> for more than a year. So what is the budget for the new house? The budget is $450,000. All right, that's the budget I'm going to use to find that perfect house. Over to you. You're over it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what I need to do to get you back in love with whatever it was you imagined this house could be. We need to update and reconfigure the kitchen. We need to move the laundry to the second floor. It would be very helpful if we had two walk-in closets so that I could uh, keep my mess out of sight and she can have the closet of her dreams. We need to renovate our bathroom. I would really love a room that's dedicated to writing that is quiet and distraction-free. What's my budget? $100,000. That's a decent amount of money because there's good space. This house does need to be reimagined to everything you thought it could be. And when I'm done, you're going to love it. So here we go. Kitchen is straight ahead. So come on in here. On this wall, we've got the dishwasher already. We've got the sink, which we'll leave in place. Makes sense. Get rid of the peninsula. Replace the peninsula with a nice big island. Continue cabinetry all the way along here. We will put fridge and stove on this wall. And then on this side, 
It's going to have a nice pool pantry. They can have another pantry here in the corner. That's where their fridge used to be. And then I'll get another pantry here where the laundry is. This laundry is no longer going to be here. I'm going to move it to the second floor. So we got to move all the drain lines, water no, lines, you have to do electric. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to second guess my wanting to know the budget up front. A budget's for spending, so we're spending it now as we go along. I see you had a little water leak or something. I personally did not have a water leak, but as you can see, it's uh, been fixed. What's next? Well, the second floor. Let's see where these are going, for one thing. Well, let's see that. So, this is their bedroom. And the first thing I want you to see is the closet. There's not even a place to hang a single shirt in there. It's ridiculous. Then, in the bathroom here, this is not functional. Oh, wow. The only solution is the access can shift down to here, where that closet is, right? Right. That's how you get into the bathroom. Get that toilet over there against the wall. Then I can give them a tub shower. And I now have an entire wall this way for double vanity. Here, I can create a separate access into the room next door, because that's going to be a closet. You're going to see. First house tour for Lauren and Jamal. The house is located on a dead-end street. They should love that. It's got four bedrooms, great walk-in closets, two and a half baths, a nice open concept main floor. Priced well, wait till you see it. What do you think of the house? It's brand new. I like the stone, I like the color, I like the trim, I like the detail. It's okay. It's okay. It's a little on the modern side. How do you feel about brand new houses? They don't leak. That's what I thought, because I thought you're living in the 70s, yeah. right? And there's lots of issues that go with that. Character. Let's go have a look. Tell me what you think. Is this the maybe drop zone? You did not ask me for a drop zone. Well, let's do this right now. All right. Drop zone. <laughs> it's a little bit small because the dream is actually drop zone and dual office. <laughs> Keep going. The main area. Eat-in kitchen, family room combination with the gas fireplace. What do you think? Look at the critical look on your face. I'm trying to find the words and not be rude. The thing that I was really excited about with our house is the option to cook to an open space and not be facing the wall while everyone's living their lives while I'm cooking. This is a strong like that is already happening in the house where I live. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's full speed ahead on the demolition of the kitchen. Hillary asks the couple to come to the house to get their input on her progress and plans. Main bathroom. Oh, my God. <laughs> the toilet will now slide over to that side of the wall. That allows me to, from that wall all the way down to here, I can create a really good double vanity. This will be gone. It will move toward the window more, which will give me enough space to do a combination tub shower, obviously, because of the space. Hmm. And now, the way that's all going to work is to um, build this wall out here and then creating a new entry somewhere around here. And then right here will be access into your closet. Your closet is going to have a much better system, and that is now your new location for the laundry. Yeah. Um, it'll fit? Yeah, it'll fit. OK. Now, you liked your setup more as a dressing room, not just a closet. Yes. So I think it would be nice to maintain that. So two bedrooms are becoming closets? As they were before. That just seems like, a, like half the upstairs is closets. If we were reselling this, we now have fewer bedrooms. There's a lot to be said for a house that has an ensuite closet. So no writing room. You have a guest room. That's the room that I think that could do double duty is guest room and writing room. My parents, my sister, her girls, they come and visit frequently, so we do need a space for guests. Fine. So the guest room doesn't work. Can so that leaves two rooms right here. You have a room and you have a room. Are you willing to share a closet to get your writing room? We need to think about it. All right, well, let me know as soon as you can. I really feel like this house has a vibe and a style that suits them to a T. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, open concept main floor. They are going to love this kitchen. It's on a great lot, three quarters of an acre. Yes, it has a drop zone. Will they be happy with it? I don't know, wait to see.
New development. You've got three quarters of an acre of land. Wow. The nicest thing about three quarters of an acre is, is that it backs onto protected land. I think it gives you 99% of what you asked me for. There's probably 1% in there somewhere, I'm sure, but. I'll find something. You'll find something. <laughs> no, I'm excited. Let's go look and see okay. what that is. Okay. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Go in and have a look. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh. So far, it's beautiful. How do you love this main area? Wow. Yeah. I want to see your reaction. No, it's I. Because I... I know this one can't lie. <laughs> so I know if I look at her, I know if she likes something or not. It's amazing. Come check out the kitchen. Yes, this is facing a wall. Yeah. I just feel like it's so open. As you're cooking, you can see peripherally everything. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that this would not be enough of a drop zone. So, you've got this room over here. You know, this allows you just to flow from the garage through uh -huh. the mudroom and right into the drop zone, and nothing goes past this. You guys acted like I was crazy. You see how someone else thought of this? This is perfect. This is exactly yes. what I'm talking about. You walk in, you drop your dirty stuff. It's so weird that you sound mad about getting exactly what you want. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots more to see. Let's head upstairs. All right. Now, I know Hillary's doing something to your laundry. She is. Oh, but it's not I bad. wonder if it's going to look like <laughs> this. This is crazy. You've got two folding areas, plenty of storage. You've got extra storage over there for hanging stuff. This is beyond good. All right. So, bedroom number what? one. <laughs> You know, there's two options in terms of bedrooms for your daughter or writing room for you. Main bedroom time. <gasps> Look at it. Look at the windows. It's like a painting. Hello. Well, Hello. hi there. Wow. <laughs> You're coming into a house that's been well thought through and is going to give you all the function and beauty you want. Here we go. OK. Come on in. OK. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> None of it is a big change. It feels like a big change. We painted the handrails black. You've got a new stair carpet. The pickers have been repainted. So it just gives it a kind of a crisper, cooler look. Oh, wow. Well. Oh. <laughs> Love it? Love it. Come on in. How do we even see? I don't recognize anything. You have this wonderful island with the cooktop in it, which I still disapprove of, but you I wanted love it. that. I love it. And you love it. Thank you. So look at how much seating you've got, too. I mean, this is great for a hangout as well. Yes. I feel like I had an apartment with less square foot than we now have in cabinetry. This is phenomenal. I the know. amount of storage is true. So you've got another pantry here. You've got a pantry in the hallway <gasps> where the laundry used Don't to be. Stop. Oh my god. Which is huge. Look. No more laundry in the kitchen. It's really a lot of space. Oh my gosh. And there's no more laundry. There's That's so what matters. Room. There's so much room. <laughs> and do you remember there was that great big leak? Yes. Uh -huh. It was dreadful, and now it's not. So that's it for the main floor. So now, let's go upstairs. Andy. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at the wallpaper. It's so pretty. It always was a beautiful spot, but it's now beautified, and it is your little sanctuary. It feels that way. Let's go in there. The new bathroom. You ready? Oh, my God. Shut up! <laughs> ah! Look. Jamel, I would leave you I for this it. tile. You stop. Sorry. You got your double vanity. Yes. I can't even remember what it looked like. It was a nightmare. Well, it, you remember this whole conversation, do you? Are you oh, feeling? I have to have a freestanding tub. Otherwise, I mean, what's the point? And I promised you that I would come up with a tub where you're going to have the same thing. And that's it. Decision made? Yes. Mm -hmm. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to list it. Awesome! I think what you did with the space that existed is miraculous, but <laughs> I think there are just things in that house that could never be here. I think it's 
the openness of that house, the kitchen and the, the living area, having it all open and everyone in the same room at the same time, even if we're doing different things, is irresistible. No, look, it sounds fabulous, honestly. It was awesome working with you guys. Thank you Completely so much. Completely awesome.